Hello, this is Tego and Fusey, and welcome back to another very special, well not special video, but it's definitely a good video indeed for the Turtle community. As of yesterday, we got a new picture from, uh, I think it was Tom Waltz, who revealed a picture from the new uh, comment line, which is called the Tim and T, the Last Ronin. Now, even though this picture may not contain a lot of stuff, we can be sure that this uh, comic series will be a defi definitely a good one in the Tim and T lore. And, you know, this picture really doesn't really give anything off to spoil the uh, comic. It may have some clues onto what, uh, um, like, uh, like, timeline it is, or, like, a uh, version. Now, let's look at this picture first of all. Now, we see a turtle, uh, in the field, uh, going towards a city. Now, on this turtle, we don't see his, uh, face, nor do we see the colour of his, uh, bandana. Now, this might lead on to something which I'll bring up in uh, later on in the video. But if you look on his shell, we can see his weapons which he's holding. He's got his uh, Dontello's staff, Leonardo's sword, uh, Michael's nunchuckers, and Raphael's side. So this really doesn't help us too much. If I was to give a guess right now who it might be, I'd either say it is Donatello or Raphael. Now, the reason why I'm saying that now is just because Donatello, because in the uh, Odio or Odious uh, Toll current line, story he was one to live all the way up to um 2105 and raf well he's just my favorite toll now even though like i said this this image really doesn't say anything about this storyline but i gave it some thought uh last night on what uh what timeline it could be in now this brings up just quite a few um not theories but a few suggestions so let's uh, go over which universes or universe it could be in, and leave your comments or leave your suggestion of what one you think is going to be in the comments below. Okay, so first of all, we have to rule out the uh, universes which um, would definitely not contain the storyline. So the eighty souls, or yeah, uh, will not contain it just because they are too um, stupid, like silly, and all that. They will not be doing something like this. The Archie comics would not be doing something like this because we already see that the turtles are already there. Now, that's another thing we, need, we do need to bring up. The toll, uh, we only see one toll. We never see the other ones as of right now. So then, we can go on to the next uh, one, which is probably going to be 2003. 2003 is going to be out of the picture just because we see the events of the fast forward and we see that the future is really well and not that city. But we don't actually see the city. So it's a possibility, but not really a good possibility. The 90s movie and expectation, you can rule that one out too. But you you might do, we could not, but it's a, it's a good possibility that it's not going to be that. Just because the only other comics we have got from that was the movie comics. The next, uh, or total universe we can rule out, is going to be the 2007 one. Just because the only thing we really got from them was five prelude comics and a movie. And a few video games. So next one we can roll out is 2012 because you already see what happens with the turtles. We see all of them alive or mostly alive. <laughs> Donny. Um, and yeah, Raphael doesn't have any of the weapons in the sh uh, shell razor. The next one we can roll out is the Tim and T Michael Bay ones because they don't. It, it, by the looks of it, it does not. Uh, the turtles look normal. So that can roll out that one. The next one which we can rule out, which will be the final one um, of ruling out ones, which is going to be the 20, uh, no, uh, Rise of TMNT. Now the reason why I bring this one up is because it wouldn't be Raph because he's too big, has spikes on his shell, Leo and Donny, well Donny because he needs his shell bot, Leo because he's, he's like, I don't know, it just wouldn't be that. Now the two which I didn't bring up, which is IDW and the Mirage uh, comic line. So I'm going to uh, give some uh, reasons why it might be that version and why it might not be. So let's start off with, um, let's go with Mirage. Okay, so um, the reason why it could be is because it's going to be in black and white. So that's one factor, it, like a really big strong factor for that one. Uh, two is that it looks the shape of, of the uh, one, the original Tales uh, comics line, which it did do in the 80s and 90s. So that's another factor for it, and yeah, it just looks like more of the Mirage comics. 
Now, the reason why it might be something of the IDW run is because we already know the events of the future. Now, what I mean, well, now, what I mean by this is that we've already got a uh, thing it's about, yeah, it's, it's two comics for the future, which could potentially lead on to what might happen in this storyline. Now, what I mean by now, what I mean by this is that in the Tolls in Time uh, issue four, we see the Tolls go uh, to the future and we see that, uh, that the whole world is uh, corrupted by its shredder, and the only uh, Tolls who uh, survive is Dontello. He has the four um, bandanas, but nothing else. Now, even though this storyline was uh, retcon to being the uh, Demon T 2020 line, that still doesn't really rule out too much because that was in a near future, and the uh, Tolls in Time one was a further future, if that makes sense. But then that was sort of a retcon a bit later, maybe, with uh, Shredder coming back in issue 100. So that could potentially be, uh, that's pretty much the only thing I've got for it, is that Donato is the only one alive in that universe, uh, in the future, and he has the four bandanas. Now, the reason why it might not be uh, the IDW one, and also Mirage, uh, so let's go with IDW one. Well, one, it doesn't look like that sort of style for Tells. Even though they do have different styles with different artists, I don't think they'll go down that route. Second of all, the world doesn't, uh, in both futures, we do see that both worlds don't end up in single villages. So that's a good thing. Maybe it's the Mutant uh, City, but I'm pretty sure it will not be. And yeah, that's pretty much all we've got to go off. Is that basically is a potential future which we're trying to try to uh, sort out. Now, the reason why it might not be the Mirage Tolls is because in the Team and T um, Od Odious, I think it's called, now, even though this storyline is not technically canon, it is pretty much uh, canon as of right now because we don't really know the effects of Urban Legend and also um, the aftermath of Demon T Volume 4. So, that's one thing that does have another thing going for it, is that it could potentially fill up the uh, gap. But, but that's not what I'm talking about now. So, the reason why it might not be it is because if it was the uh, Mirage Tolls, we would already know where Mikey would be, and that he would be in space with. Uh, he would have kids. So, um, yeah, Leonardo would be a full ninja now, so he wouldn't really need to go on a more ex uh, like extreme, uh, like training sessions. If that makes sense. Raphael, he's a as of right now he's a mutant toll, but in the Oculus uh, comic line he was um, changed back to normal and. He went on a like trip to, to save people in the future. Uh, Don't tell you, he's a robot as of right now, but in the Odious uh, coming line, he was changed back into a normal turtle. Now, all the turtles did die in the end. Michael died in uh, 2065, Raphael died in 2085, Leonardo died, died in 2099, and Don't tell you, died in 2105. So, it does have a big gap, but I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll have the guts to fill it. Now, on the Tenderdome forums, it, um, one of the creators did come out and say that basically this can be an Elseworld storyline that might uh, fit into the con uh, a continuity. Now, what does uh, if you break this down, or if you break this sentence down, it basically means is that it's going to be its own separate world and all that stuff, sort of like the uh, Superman Red Sun uh, uh, comic book, like. Uh, like movie. It has nothing to do with the uh, DC animated movie line, but it still has something to do with DC. And it, if it does fit into a continuity, it will be either one of those two. You can start guessing now, I'll say. But then, Tom Wolf's come out and said that basically this uh, storyline has been in the making for three decades. Now, this does put in a lot more questions and a bit more leaning on towards the Mirage side, because if that was to take place in uh, three decades ago, that would be in the nineties. Now that could even be that, that could even mean a few things: either Mirage, eighty tolls, or the ninety tolls. Now, as I said before, I don't think the eighty tolls would be or that kind of uh, seriousness to be up on that level of only having uh, one toll wandering this uh, city or that world. And I don't think. Because we already know what happens 
sort of with the um, 90s movie. Um, yeah, guys, so I was in the middle of editing this video and I just went over to get some images for the actual video. And when doing this, I suddenly uh, come across uh, an interesting fact which nobody's picking up on, which is this turtle is wearing the Shredder's helmet. Now, if this has any indicators of what uh, series it might be, I think it might have to do with um, more to do with Ra um, Raj now, like uh, especially with the Urban Legend one, just because Raphael's wearing that uh, helmet. So in theory, it should be more more towards Raphael with uh, the Raj uh, series. But if it's not, then this is actually a really cool Easter egg. But it does look like he's wearing some armor sort of thing. But yeah, that's a very cool uh, little Easter egg, which I don't think anybody's talking about. But yeah, so um, yeah, uh, so I'll just get back onto the video. So yeah, so this uh, comment line is gonna bring out a lot of questions in people, whether for good or whether for bad. I do think we'll eventually see the other trolls appear up in um, this comment line, whether this will be Raph, Leo, Don, or Mikey, or even another um, new turtle. Whoever it is, I think we'll get the answers fairly soon when the coin comes out. I think we'll either get flashbacks uh, to it, or we'll get one full storyline, which is a flashback to it. So, this really is going to bring out a lot of questions, and for the next few months, I think it's going to be probably the biggest toll news we're going to get for a very long time. And yeah, so that's it for today, guys. If you do like this one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.